A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. Responsorial Psalm Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's children, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy, turn toward me. O Lord, in your great love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad, you who seek God, May your hearts revive, for the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and whatever moves in them. Lord, in your great love, answer me. The second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, though through one man sin entered the world, and through sin death, and thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned, for up to the time of the law sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like transgression, for if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be shown. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. 
even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. For everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. What does fear have to do with the kingdom of God? Fear is a powerful force. It can lead us to panic and flight, or it can spur us to faith and action. The fear of God is the antidote to the fear of losing one's life. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. O fear the Lord, you, his saints, for those who fear him have no, have no want. Come, O sons, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What is godly fear? It is reverence for the one who made us in love and who sustains us in mercy and kindness. The greatest injury or loss which we can experience is not physical but spiritual, the loss of one's mind, heart, and soul to the power of hell. A healthy fear of God leads to spiritual maturity, wisdom, and right judgment, and it frees us from the tyranny of cowardly fear and sinful pride that refuses to do what is right, good, and just, especially in the face of opposition and evil. Do you trust in the power of God's love and truth that can conquer every fear and form of evil and wrongdoing? The Lord Jesus willingly embraced the cross for our sake to atone for our sins and to free us from slavery to sin, Satan, and death. Do you believe in the power of his cross and victory over sin and despair? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, it is my joy and privilege to be your disciple. Give me strength and courage to bear any hardship and suffering which may come my way in your service. May I witness to others the new life, joy, and victory you have won for us through the cross and resurrection. Amen. Amen.